is a Singapore company in the first place. The Singapore company not only must be established and incorporated in Singapore, all its directors and all the shareholders must be Singaporeans, must be pink blooded, pink IC. So, for example, okay, this company A, he, they want to buy a bungalow, a landed property, which under this is prohibited by a foreign person. You know, okay? But this company wants to buy, they want to uh, get this bungalow. Right now, in order for this company A to buy this company, this company must be a Singapore company, right? Now, in order for this company to be a Singapore company, all the directors, all the shareholders must be Singaporeans. Can I see? Right? If any of the directors, let's say got ten directors, you only need one to be a PR, or you only need one to be a foreigner, then this company A cannot be a Singapore company. It's considered a foreign person. Similarly, the shareholders, let's say you got 